Welcome to Mescoma Savings Bank on 67 North Park Street here in Lebanon. I'm your host, Elizabeth DeRazio, and I'm joined by Pete Began, who is their senior security analyst here, who's going to tell us about the latest scams that are coming to our area, particularly the Publishers Clearinghouse scam and the Secret Shopper scam. You don't want to be a victim of this, and you want to keep an eye out for your friends and neighbors, too. Pete? Uh, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, you know some of the scams that we see at the bank on a, on a daily and weekly basis, and certainly uh, the lottery scam uh, comes to mind. Uh, recently, uh, we've seen a lot of uh, Publishers Clearinghouse. You know, it's that time of year when, when people start receiving notice from Publishers Clearinghouse. Uh, we've had several customers uh, in the Upper Valley that have received a letter that stated that they had won, mm -hmm. uh, you know, $550,000. And, and here's your first installment check of $5,000. We'd like you to cash the check wire funds back to us via Western Union or MoneyGram uh, in the amount of $3,700. Um, it, it's, it's interesting when, when you talk about the lotteries because the, the bad guys uh, seem to keep getting better and better mm -hmm. um, in that they tell now uh, the customers what to say when they come to the bank. Right. Don't share that you've won because if you share, then people are going to want a party. They know you're money. watching. <laughs> and uh, so they've gotten better and better over the years about trying to coach our customers, if you will, when they come in. Um, in my experience at the bank, I've been here 11 years, and if you're asked to send money back, if you're asked to wire money back uh, via Western Union or MoneyGram, uh, more often than not, it's 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 a scam. I was gonna say, I thought if you want publishers clearing house, you're supposed to get the balloons and everything. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, they if you didn't get the balloons, then I'd kind of be worried about exactly. that. Exactly, right. But there so. is a lot out there, and it, it's funny because this has gotten so much more complex in the last couple of years. A couple of years ago, scam was pretty obvious. Yep. Nowadays, they're using a lot of information on social media sites, things like that. So when you get something, you're like, how did they know all this about me? Exactly. Uh, it, you know, and, and there's a lot of public information that's out mm -hmm. there. You know, you can, you can find out a lot of information about a person just by doing research. Um, so if they really want to be in depth with the scam, they're going to take it a step further and try to find out uh, what they can about the person. So if they do call or if they do email again, they'll have more information. So it sounds like it's more legitimate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So Publishers Clearinghouse is a very big one, but how about these secret shopper things? Now yeah. these are getting really popular because people want to save money and it seems like a great idea. Tell us about the secret shopper scam. I, I, think, I think the reason it becomes more and more popular is everybody wants to make more money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have a full-time job, I work here at the bank, but uh, I'd like to make a few hundred dollars a week doing something else. So they'll go online uh, and, and do a Google search for mm -hmm. work at home. Uh, and, and that's where they get drawn in to a work at home. So uh, a secret shopper, um, um, if I'm the bad guy, I'd send you a letter and say, here's a check for $3,000. I'd like you to go to several local businesses in your area. Here's a form that I want you to fill out to tell me you know, how personable they were, how clean the store was, mm -hmm. uh, those types of things. Uh, and then I want you, after you go to these three businesses, I want you to go to Western Union and do an $1,800 wire transfer with Western Union to me um, because uh, eventually what's going to happen is the check that they've sent for $3,000 is fraudulent. Right. So uh, it's interesting that they want you to spend $100 at each of the retail establishments, but at Western Union or at MoneyGram, they want you to spend 1800 And you're out that. And you're out that. Yeah, Plus whatever 100 or whatever you spent at all these locations. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And so. that's really sad. What can people do to sort of protect themselves in instances like this? I think the biggest thing is if you have a question, if something just doesn't seem 100%, bring it into the bank and say, hey, tell us the real story. Don't make something up. Don't say to us what the bad guys are telling you to say. Tell us, hey, I got this check in the mail. Something doesn't quite seem right. Mm -hmm. uh, can you help me out with it? Um, and, and we try to train all our folks at the bank to, to ask questions and, and to um, do research for, for our customers. The hardest part about that is admitting maybe you were duped. It's very hard to admit I might have been wrong or someone got the best of me, but these are such complex crimes. It could happen to anyone. So really encourage people to come in and see if you can talk to Pete. He's here to answer your questions about these scams and anyone here at the Mescoma Savings Bank locations can help you out. Check it first. You don't want to be out the money, particularly this time of year. Absolutely. Again, 
Don't be afraid to come into your local bank, Mescoma Savings Bank, and check and see if that check you got in the mail maybe just wasn't what it was supposed to be.